Galaxy S4 recent leaked renders are apparently fake. Verizon is considering dropping their CDMA network over full LTE, and the next batch of iOS device launches get rumored. I'm Jaime Rivera, and this is like about the seventh time I've filmed this over barking chihuahuas. This is Pocket Now Daily. Ah, the controversies. Yesterday after Bakken Now Daily went live, we discovered some leaked renders of the Galaxy S4 from a very trusted source. And even though they looked like a Galaxy phone, well, well sadly, apparently these photos are fake. Expansies, um, you know, that cell phone store out there, they claim that these photos are actually something that they built for their stores, you know, some renders for their mockups, and apparently these photos are not real, not the real thing. Samsung is doing a fabulous job at keeping this device a secret, and there are a ton of teasers out there that are pointing to the next Galaxy phone, so March 14th everyone, there's a lot to talk about. And let's talk a little more about design. I'll admit that I'm a big fan of these flip covers from Samsung for their Galaxy S and Galaxy Note devices because they do a good job at subtly covering the display and protecting it. But the interesting news is that LG has just brought the same design for their Optimus G Pro, aside from the fact that the device is a complete mock-up of the Galaxy Note 2. But the point being is that they figured out a way to fit magnets on this thing in order for the display to turn on and off. Something that Samsung for some reason didn't figure out or didn't copy from Apple from their iPad design. But anyways, these uh, covers are now available for when the Optimus G Pro is out there, so stay tuned. Now let's talk about Verizon. We do know that the company has done everything they can to push their CDMA network as far as they can, well, because the United States is pretty much one of the only countries left with the CDMA network available, mostly used by Verizon. But their CFO just came on record to state that the plans of the company in a short, probably not short term, but midterm, is to actually get rid of their CDMA network and go LTE only, meaning voice over LTE, and also LTE for data as we currently have. It's awesome news because if you didn't no, well, the spectrum for Verizon for LTE is actually by law required to be only used by unlocked devices. So every single Verizon phone that's been launched for the past six months with LTE enabled capabilities is also an unlocked GSM phone, which is awesome. So stay tuned. Now let's talk about Apple. There's a ton of speculation on the web as to when their next iOS products are gonna be launched. And we've got new speculation that the iPads, meaning the iPad 5 and iPad mini 2, will be launched in April, or springtime, and not in the fall as they've been doing recently, or they did with their iPads recently for some reason, because in the past they did everything in spring, and now apparently they're switching to a six month cycle, just like they do with the Macs, and not a yearly cycle like they do with the iPhone. And speaking of the iPhone, apparently we will be getting it in June and not necessarily in the fall as we have the iPhone 4s and iPhone 5 but these leaks also mention the device could probably be launched in August which doesn't make any sense so again stay tuned we know that Apple is doing everything they can to remain relevant at times but their stock is really down and finally, for the interesting news of the day, Nokia has just launched a new application called Hashtag to Insta with love with the purpose of making your voice be heard. They give you a couple of Polaroid filters and the idea is that you take photos and then you post them on your social network with the hashtag to Insta with love with the idea of luring Instagram into bringing their application and service to Windows Phone, which is kind of interesting because we know that Instagram is owned by Facebook and there is no such thing as a Windows Phone Facebook application made by Facebook. It's actually made by Microsoft. So we see it kind of hard for Instagram to do that differently. But anyways, that leads to the question of the day. Do you believe or do you need Instagram on Windows Phone? Some of us believe that probably Nokia is trying to tease us that they're probably bringing a port or a filter or a service or a lens for Windows Phone that will bring you the Instagram capabilities, but it's really hard. I mean, it's not really just about the lenses, but about the social network that's behind Instagram. So in my particular case, and I know that in Michael Fisher's case, he wants Instagram. So yes, we do want it, but leave us a comment down below. Is it really important to you? As always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and Apple world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Ah, the HTC Droid DNA. Probably one of the most beautiful smartphone designs of the year. This 1080p display device made a lot of headlines when it was launched in Japan as the J Butterfly. Now that it's made it to the United States on the Verizon network, is it still worth your buying dollar? Sadly, not everything is perfect or was perfect in our review, so join us on Thursday, March 7th for the HTC Droid DNA. After the buzz.